Hey guys, today I will be showing you a tutorial on how to make a cool uh, liquidy text effect. And before we start this tutorial, I just want you to download the font we'll be using, and it will be in the description below. And let's begin. So the first thing you want to do is go to File, New, and you want the dimensions at 1400 by 900 pixels. I will click OK and the next thing you want to do is go to your gradient tool and you want to go to a uh, radial gradient which is the second one and you wanna the colors you want you want the first one at white and the second one at like a light gray color that's fine we'll click OK and you want to get the cursor and put it in the middle of the uh, in the middle of the document and you want to drag it a little so you want the white in the middle let's make it a little long alright so we want the white in the middle and the gray on the outside and the next thing you want to do is open up to your text and the text we are using is cool vetica so I'm just going to type in YouTube I'm going to put it in the middle you can put it uh, whatever size you want and whatever you want. And for me, I like to change the color in the in the. I'd like to change the letter in the middle of the word into a different color. So I'm gonna put this as like a light blue. And I'm gonna put the UB as like a neon pink. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do, you want to click on the check mark and you want to right click on the text layer and go to blending options. And the first thing we're going to do is oh, go to uh, inner shadow. You want the blend mode at multiply. You want the opacity at around 12%. You want the distance at one pixel and the size at to and then you want to go to bevel and emboss and for here you want the depth at a thousand percent you want the size at six and the softness at eleven and for the highlight mode you want the opacity at around forty percent and the for shadow mode you want it at eight percent and now we're going to go to gradient overlay and for the blend mode, you just want to change it to soft light. And click OK. So now this is where we're going to get a little creative here. So you want to right click on the text layer and you want to go to... Oops. When I click on the text layer and you want to go to duplicate layer. And the shortcut way for doing this is to click Control J. And now we're going to go to filter liquify and click OK so the brush, si brush size depending on what you want I like it at a, a little smaller brush size I'll keep it at 25 but it can range from like 20 to 45 you want the brush density at 100 and the brush pressure the brush pressure at 100 and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit alright so this is you can be creative and do whatever you want so this uh, liquefies the text which gives it like a really cool effect And I'm I'm going uh, a bit fast on here. You can be patient. Take however long you want. I'm just gonna do it for the sake of the. I just don't want you guys to wait on me for this. That was ugly.
and if you mess up you can just press control Z and it will uh, automatically fix your mistake alright so I am almost done alright so now you want to click OK and it will load so yeah that's like a more uh, liquid effect it's pretty cool and now you want to go to filter actually you want to create a new layer at the bottom right corner and you want to go to filter you want to go to render and go to lens flare oh wait so delete the layer and then this this step is optional it's if you want to you can go to render lens flare and click OK so the lens flare adds like a little bit of a brighter effect to your text so I hope you guys enjoyed this video this is uh, another a simple Photoshop tutorial thank you for watching and have a great day follow me on Facebook Twitter or Google Plus Thank you for watching and have a great day.